Hi, we'll be solving an absolute value problem today. So if mod of x is equal to 5x minus 16, find sum of all possible values of x. So let's try and solve this problem using two methods. We'll use the concepts of absolute value first. So mod of x is equal to 5x minus 16. We'll take two cases. First case is whatever is inside the absolute value, we'll assume that is greater than or equal to 0. So that we can open mod x directly as x to have x is equal to 5x minus 16 or 4x is equal to 16, x is equal to 4 and which satisfies our condition of x is greater than or equal to 0. So that means this is one possible solution. In the second case, let's take x as less than or equal to 0. That means mod of x can be opened as minus x. So we'll have minus x is equal to 5x minus 16 or we'll have 6x is equal to 16. x is equal to 16 by 6, which is 8 by 3. Now, this is not a correct solution because our condition was x is less than or equal to 0. So solution will be x is only equal to 4. So sum of all possible values of x will be 4. So answer will be option number C. Now let's use another method to solve this. So mod of x is equal to 5x minus 16. Now we are going to use the method of squaring both these sides. We can use this method when you have either one absolute value or you have only two absolute values in the equation and nothing else. Right? So let's square both these sides. So if we square this, we'll get x square is equal to 5x minus 16 whole square, which becomes 25x square minus 2 into 5 into 16x plus 256. That will give us 24x square minus 2 into 5 into 16x plus 256 is equal to 0. Now this goes by 8. So we can have 3x square minus 2 into 5 is 10. 10 into 2 is 20. 20x plus 8 threes are 24 and 2 so 32. Now this can be simplified as 3x square minus 8x minus 12x plus 32 is equal to 0 or we can take x common 3x minus 8 minus 4 common 3x minus 8 is equal to 0 and we'll have the values of x as x is equal to 4 and 8 by 2. The only second step in this method is we'll have to plug it back in the equation and check whether this value satisfies that equation or not. If we put x is equal to 4, we'll have mod 4 is equal to 5 into 4, which is 20 minus 16 is equal to 4. So this satisfies. If we put 8 by 3, mod of 8 by 3 is equal to 5 multiplied by 8 by 3 minus 16. So we'll have 40 minus 48 by 3, which is minus 8 by 3. Definitely this is not true because mod of any number can never be negative. So solution will be only x is equal to 4 and answer will be option number C. Hope you are able to understand how to solve this problem and do share your comments on the video. Thank you.